It's Thanksgiving's day for Christine today. Any excuse for me to cook up a good good meal. This time, real simple one. Um, pork chops, uh, pork cutlets or whatever, not cutlets. Um, anyway, they're, they're clean. They've got no fatty bits on it. Mashed potato. You can hardly see the button mushrooms in there. Corn. Um, oodles of gravy, as I love it, as you know. So, and of course, like usual, glass of wine. So, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Which, do people know where that came from? Tell us, Christine. It's when the pilgrims came to America and they were starving and freezing and the Indians um, gave them food and they had a great Thanksgiving together. This is before the Americans slaughtered millions of Native Americans. This is the thanks the, the Indians get. <laughs> so at least once a year they get recognized for their gen the generosity. <laughs> So I'll say thanks to their generosity, not that I'm American. Go. Restore a discreet hair colouring. And it's, it's not really a colouring, I, think, I believe it actually helps your hair pigments begin to produce or reproduce your natural colouring. The back of Paul's hair, I just cut it yesterday, the weird haircut. Okay, turn around. Mm. See? He has a lot, like, he's fully grey. Okay. Oh, I was really silver beforehand, but I got onto Restore a Discreet. It's a cream. You can get it in a liquid solution as well, but cream I find better. Um, yeah, I, I've used it now for a while, but when you use it on a regular basis, it really works. Your hair gets its own natural colour coming back. Um, couldn't speak more highly of it. I was totally silver, and I haven't used this. I'm only just starting to get back into it. Okay, come closer. We're doing a um, test. So I cut his hair yesterday. Yes. Yeah. It's patchy. So you'll see. Um, turn around again. And uh, um, we we'll do this every day. Do you put it on one or two times a day? Once a day. And it needs a little bit of sunlight to sort of help it happen, I guess. We'll do a retake every week, I think. Heading off from Thursday Island. Our last port in Australia. So bye-bye Australia, we're heading towards the Torres Strait Passage to Indonesia. Our water bladders are still outside, and yeah, we're still somewhat of a mess, as you can tell. Not the most tidy. Hopefully we're doing um, on the passage. We're just disorganized, or some cast of wine. So things are looking up, and I cleared the table. So that looks good. And we're underway, Paul. Did I heading for you know potentially eight or nine days at sea? Um, <laughs> exciting, but we've got some real calm wind in three days and next to no wind really. I'll be putting your sea anchor in and going by current more than anything. As Paul is studying the film and trimming, bye bye Thursday Island for me and Paul. It's bye bye Australia. So we're heading out. The sun is setting. It's set over the horizon, but um, just over those mountains. We decided to go early because the wind is just stopping. Um, really shitty, no wind actually, and then on the nose. The start of our journey to Indonesia. Sailing vessel Tak. So, a year of living in Australia on sailing vessel Tak, we're finally doing an open passage. So I'm really excited. Um, so on to the next country, Indonesia. Wow, we're going 7.2 knots. So it's a good thing we left early. Um, the winds will go down to practically five knots. The wrong direction, of course. So we're heading out Thursday Island through the Torres Strait. 
Yeah, so we're, we're off. Um, first private ocean passage. Exciting. A little bit of concern, but we're pretty well prepared. Um, Louder, please! Eight days to nine days at sea, but it's going to be really calm. We're almost going to throw a sea anchor and get dragged by the currents more than the wind. So, we'll see how uh, two days turns up, because on Friday the wind will turn on our nose at three to five knots. Beautiful views I get to see while sailing. Videos out, and thank you for watching.